Hello guys and welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 multiplayer my friends. Today we're diving back into it boys and today I've got a really really awesome Mastercraft camo that I want to showcase to you all. And this is for the Hades. Um, a great LMG in the game which you guys have seen me make some numerous videos on right now. But this camo has got a snake on it and it looks absolutely insane when you start getting the kill progression towards it. When you start getting kills with this weapon, you'll see some drastic changes with it and stuff, and it's probably one of the most eye-catching ca like camos in the game. Like I can't help but keep looking at this camo as I'm playing, and it is very distracting, I'm not going to lie, but it is very freaking cool. And obviously as well, guys, we're playing on one of my favorite go-to maps at the moment. This map has been coming up quite a lot within the rotation here on the PlayStation 4, which I've noticed quite a lot. Like, most games I'm getting into are on this map. And believe it or not, WMD, I used to play so much back in the day, back on Black Ops 1. So I know this map, like, inside and out, you know what I mean? So I'm pretty happy that this map is... It's in the game. Like, as soon as... When they first announced this map, I was just like, wow, it's coming back. Like, because I didn't expect it to come back. I did expect maybe one day in the future we'll have like a remake of it or something, but just knowing that it's in the game, don't know, it just gives me some nostalgia, you know what I mean? Reminds me of the good old Black Ops 1 days. Alright, let's try and find some enemies though. I should really have put a scope on this, but I'm digging the iron sights right now because the iron sights of this gun are pretty decent. They're not too big and they don't take up too much of the screen. Just right, if you know what I mean. So yeah, let me know down below in the comment section, guys. Do you have this Mastercraft camo in your collection? Like, I, I did get this camo off the store, so I did spend, you know, real money on this camo. I think it was about... I think it was like 700 cup points or something like that. Something, sim something simple like that. Nice. Make, making my progression with this weapon as well, like, literally, I just, I just love, like, using this weapon at the moment. It's like, I like to experiment with different weapons as I'm doing my gold camo progressions and stuff, but this weapon, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm having more fun with this weapon than I did with the Titan. You know what I mean? The Titan's a really good gun in this game. Because I see a lot of campy people using it, you know what I mean? I see a lot of people just sitting in corners with that, with that Titan, and trust me, I've seen you guys doing it. I mean, just don't do it, okay? No sitting in corners. Run around, shoot people. Don't sit in corners because... Man, <laughs> I hate that stuff. Nice. Just try and keep an eye out for everybody. Try and remember the spawns as well, because I think the map has the same sort of spawns as it did in Black Ops 1. can't not remember, but... kind of know the spawns fairly well. Nice. <laughs> oh, I wanted to wrap it up with another kill there, but fair play. Come on, Aaron. We can do this. We need some more kills. We just need to keep racking up that kill count. But look at it, though, guys. Look at my camo. Literally, you can see that the glowing snake on it. It's like a neon effect across the snake. It is very eye-catching, and sometimes I do spend a lot of time looking at the camo because... You know, it's it just draws me in a little bit. It makes me want to keep looking at it. But if you have to pick out of the top ten, like, Mastercraft camos in the game, I'd say this one's definitely up there. I think the second one I've had to choose would have to be the ICR Blinding Glory. Like, with the Summon Master ca uh, Mastercraft camo, because that camo was just next level godly. You know what I mean? But this one's definitely up there. But let me know down below in the comment section, what is your favourite Mastercraft camo that you've got in the game in your collection? I'd love to hear what your favourite ones are, and which ones you like to roll with, and what weapons do you roll with them on? Like, um, like what Mastercraft camos have you got for particular weapons, like which weapons do you use a lot of, and what favourite reactive camos do you, do you have in the game that you've got on your weapons that you use? And do you use your camos mainly within multiplayer, or do you use them... In zombies and blackout. Like me personally, I prefer to use them in zombies because I find that I don't know. It just looks so much better in zombies. But they are pretty good to use them within multiplayer. 
You just don't want to be using mainly in blackout because, you know, it's it's going to kind of give away your position. If I've got like a glowing yellow gun and I'm in a, like a dark area, I think it's going to reveal my location, you know what I mean? So I try not to use them within blackout. Oh damn, he's got a dog. Nice. Keep pushing now and I don't want to be coming dog to me. Keep going. Nice. Come on! <sighs> Damn it! Got to keep this momentum going right now. Get some more kills. Ooh, cheeky. Come on. Or maybe someone walks towards my mesh mine. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on the corner. Is he coming? No, he's in the building. Where is this guy? Okay, he's, he's dead, he's dead, which is good. No one's walked into my mesh mine yet, so no one's trying to run in the building. Which is really good right now. Nice! Come on, Aaron. Another one. Another one bites the dust, and another one, and another one, another one bites the dust. I really need to get that tune out of my head, I've been literally having that in my head all day. I heard it on the radio earlier on, believe it or not, and <laughs> it's just been stuck in my head all day. It's kind of annoying. It's a good tune, but, you know, I need it in my head, okay? This game, come on. Try to find these enemies and they gun some more people down. Ah, oh, damn it! That's where I'm gonna start getting gunned down now. Come on, team members. I don't know what the hell this guy was doing. <laughs> he was just chilling. It's just like, kill me, bro. Give yourself a free kill. Free headshot towards your cut light. You can make progression. Damn it, I tried to shoot them, but it was just too late, he would immediately lead me. That's alright boys, keep giving the air. Uh, UAVs. I really should have equipped a launcher as my secondary, because I used, I normally do that when it comes to leveling up my launchers, but since I've already got my launcher to gold, it's kinda don't use it anymore. But I really should though, because Stops. I can get myself some easy XP, but and it stops my opponents from having things like UAVs and stuff in the air. I don't know. Maybe if Treyarch had another launcher in at some point in the near future for me to use, then I'll probably equip that one and try and get all the camos for it. Come on, pop your head up. He's definitely up there. Nice. Come on. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Got the gold coming now, boys. That's what we're talking about right now. <laughs> oh man, I, I literally thought I had to get some more headshot like carries for my weapon, but obviously I didn't. I must have been beasting that much with this weapon over time that I'm just completely forgot. But still, that is the Venom Cocktail Mastercraft Camo for the Hades LMG, my friends. I've got the Gold Camo for the weapon now, and Asita's. I'm hyped up, so make sure you look out for a Gold Camo showcase on this weapon real soon. Asita's is going to be awesome, guys. Thank you for the continued support here upon the channel. I've got more Mastercrafts, more reactive camos, and much, much more still to come, so keep your eyes and ears locked onto the channel every single day for a brand new video, and I'll see you again real soon. Take care.